You know what? I just definitely do hope that Dottie, um, you know, she makes this out alive or something like that. Like, she's not harmed. Yeah, she was a bitch. But Whitney is even more of a bigger bitch because she's actually gotten, you know, Agent Carter impaled at some point. Whereas uh, Dottie's like, okay, that's too far to, during my limits. We'll beat each other up. And that's it. Okay. Screw, screw Whitney. Hello everyone, it's Link Catterson here with episode number seven of Agent Carter with season two. This is Monsters and um, we had a really juicy episode last time out with Peggy turning to her arch nemesis to get, um, to get basically access into the arena club to get to Whitney to get a bit of the dark... Uh, it's not the Dark Hold, Liam. That's the book. To get a bit of the Dark Force, Zero Matter, whatever you want to call it, so it can sustain Wilkes just a bit, which um, uh, it seemed to be a, a bit good, I guess. Yes, he just needs to build this chamber to, you know, make this more permanent. Otherwise, it's just going to be a temporary measure. We don't want that. I mean, we're not we're not risking that just for a temporary solution to things, so... Yeah, but yes, Agent Carter episode number seven. I've just realised there's only three episodes left of Agent Carter uh, when I'm done with this, which is going to be really sad because I've been really enjoying, you know, exploring a bit more of Peggy's backstory. And uh, yeah, it's only three episodes left after this. So without further ado, let's just delve into episode number seven. This is Monsters. Let's go, colleagues. <laughs> Peggy's going to be like, you're Perished. full of bullshit. At sea. Oh, at sea. Okay. <laughs> When their boat sank off of Catalina Island. Gosh, she's a really good actress. Yeah. Oh, please, if I could spit, I would. <laughs> she killed them. And half the council. Your and no one questions her bitch. story for one moment. In less than 24 hours, she told me everything I wanted to know. And this, this is Dottie is Underwood. An especially persuasive so, tool. Yeah. She's a different kind of ingredient here. You have no idea who you're messing with. I've pulled out my own teeth, my own nails, my own hair. Fucking I've psycho. burned my own flesh with a blowtorch. I'm no Nazi harlot. And you Ooh. are wasting my time. Dottie, I love what you. What is Peggy Carter looking for? Hey, what's the matter? Is uh, she Look beat you to your torture game? Or has Leviathan just prone, made a prone to truth serum or something? I don't know. You'd think like that. Like mother's milk. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, Leviathan could just do that. Like, oh, just in case that he does capture us. I don't know. This is the chamber. I was thinking more of a cubicle, but hey. You actually believe that you've got a friend in Peggy Carter. Oh. A woman that would see you really? hanged if she could arrange it. It's pathetic. I almost feel sorry for you. Oh. Oh. Is he trying to speak truth bombs? Presence or... is requested. Like, I, I don't know. Well, busy. Peggy. You want I should tell her that? Yeah. Not a good idea to piss off Whitney, but... It, I mean... She sees Peggy alike in it's some crossed. capacity, surely. I was on the verge of getting Friends. her to talk. Peggy Carter to come and rescue you. <gasps> no! Oh, fuck! No! Fuck! Duck! 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 Now that we understand each other, what? Was she giving Peggy her a little taste want? of what she could suffer? She told me to get a sample of your blood. A sample of whatever that is inside you. Shit, she, she spooked her. <laughs> it worked. Yay! Congratulations, Doctor. It worked. Nice. Oh, handshake. Ooh, we got a triangle. Never had Hungarian food before. Is it any good? Go by. <laughs> I'm sure that I won't love it. <laughs> hey, it's better than starving away, I guess. 
Uh oh. The inexplicable appearance of this signal is rather convenient. Yes, thank you. I was thinking this is a trap because she was fiddling with the. We're walking into a trap. Ah, uh, so they. So yeah. Okay. They. They're on the case basically, but I was wondering. She was fiddling with biscuits the way. necklace, wasn't yeah. she? Whoa! We watch our that packs a punch. A rug, <laughs> that does put <laughs> my equipment. She needs you, and I can see how much you need this, so I can put you in really... Jarvis. But you must also allow me to wring my hands from time to time. She's been a great contribution this season, don't you? I think? promise you no harm will come to me under Miss Carter's watch. Don't make promises you can't keep. <clears throat> but those are the best ready, ones. Yes, Ten points for whoever got the reference. Let's see. <laughs> These folks in Washington, they love a hero and they love a good yarn. Don't be a parasite by infecting I'm their hero. minds. And I'm not here to add to my story. Like I said, Put him down. We'll do our best, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Good Daniel. Good man. Well, you know your stuff. I beg your pardon. You blushed. I am not discussing this with you any further, Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> no, this relationship issues. Is sticky wicket in regards to Chief Souza. Yeah, this I is my problem. <laughs> yeah, you see that? It's just that I, I never intended to encourage the affections of two quality suitors. It's just a bit conflicted, that's the problem. Simply happened. She's not committed so yet, but... Miss Carter. She's just been pulled in two surprised. different directions, but in one body. I am. I don't know what to do. Clone yourself, and then both parties can be happy. <laughs> two Agent Carters would be absolutely great. Like, see that teamwork? Tag team? Oh, see, people like Hydra would not see that coming. <laughs> Time it. There we go. Oh, it's gonna fail, isn't it? Oh no, it's failing. Come on. No. Drop your weapons. Third time's the charm. You move one more inch, and it'll be your last. What should we do now? Fuck. Well, there's only one thing you do. Why is it? Why have a key code? Why not just have a big? Red button. Sure, it's safer, but hey. a big Is red this supposed to be a button. Rescue? Yeah, I failed. We set a 34, 24, 34 Carol Lombard's measurements like a fool. Uh, uh, Barbara Stanwyck's measurements 33, 23, 33, which is a completely different function. Okay. What does okay. Stanwyck do? Well, naturally, that's the code for. Oh, well, not good for those guys. Definitely. Oh shit. The delayed detonation. Ah, okay. It was a bit more delayed, but oh well. Six Still, a no butter. You knew this was a trap. Of course. But it wasn't set for you. Oh shit, she's got. Oh no. Yep. It was a, it was a bigger deal of a trap. I have a very pleasant day. <laughs> she loved Jarvis's voice. Oh, but this is bad. I knew I was fearing for isometric heat waste regulators. Uh... Kinetic. F I'll need to take that back. No thanks. No thanks. Oh no! 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 Have you not heard? Sherry is caring, or are you just a complete bitch? He's resisting it. Oh sh! Is this kind of like poisoning the well kind of thing? Because her skin was a bit. Oh shit, so. You don't need that contraption at all. Yeah, he, he's not disappearing. But it doesn't last, does it? That machine was designed to contain zero matter. Mm -hmm. We can change the world. Oh, don't give the this shit. Just Come on. Fine as it is. Yeah. That yeah, would have a few is problems. It... You... But nothing that zero really matter can that fix. Do you recruited you because they valued your brilliant mind? You were hired for the same reason that Jane Scott was hired. A woman and a colored man. Oh yeah, people so marginalized. Oh, oh shit! You want to be a hero, huh? Oh no! Come on! Oh, 
piss. Won't get away with this. She won't stop coming for you. Huh? Oh, here she is. I can, however, slow her down. Oh shh. No, I'm not. You are a fucking bit and a coward. What a fucking bitch. I fucking hate I hate her. I fucking hate her. You'll have to wait here. This this, this was crossing a line. Oh shit. Oh did What an idiot. He was told. He was told. But nobody listens. Now she's now she's a free bird again. Hey, don't open this trunk. I'll be taking over SSRLA operations for the foreseeable um, future. No. At least until you're back on your feet. You are a dick. I think it is. What a smug piece of shit who needs to get punched in the teeth. How many times has Peggy been in that situation where she's felt lost? Let's just punch the shit out of Whitney. I'm game for that. You just feel so bad for Jarvis to be in that situation, especially when Anna was discussing with Wilkes about how she preferred, you know, living the kind of uh, lie that you know, where she wasn't involved kind of thing. Because this is a dangerous endeavour and you start to worry. I just really loved that speech at the beginning. You start to worry. I mean, if not just for yourself, but for the ones you love who are in, like, once you know, it kind of becomes a bit of a worrying situation. And it's now a bit of, like, it's it's now a bit of a worrying situation that, uh, he's, uh, that for, for Jarvis, like, he, he might feel that kind of responsibility because, uh, now she knows about the kind of life he's living. Uh, he, he's going to be thinking that degree of, you know, maybe if she uh, didn't know, then she wouldn't be in this situation. I'm sorry, but like, I'm really pissed off with Anna. Uh, not Anna. I'm. I. I can never be pissed off with her. But what uh, Whitney did to Anna, like. She's such a see, she's such a really really great character, and you saw that little scene between Jarvis and Anna, of course, where they were just being so uh, respectful. Like she does come out with some great surprises, and uh, you just really really you know love her character. And what Whitney did makes you like it, it's enough to make you want to punch her in the like just a, a vicious beat. Ugh, I just hope Peggy does it. I just hope she does it. Uh, not just for the stab wound that she caused, for doing that to Anna, for being a complete bitch in general. What a, what a piece of shit. Um, but I just, look, I mean, as, as infuriated as I am with that episode, I did enjoy it, especially, you know, the kind of the, uh, of troubles, uh, like when Jarvis and Peggy had that discussion in the car, because I really love their discussions anyway in the show, like, they have great chemistry, but, you know, their discussion in the car when, Peggy was feeling a bit of a loss because um, you had Wilkes, you know, who had uh, his, you know, he had his solid fall back, of course, and uh, he was able to kiss uh, Peggy, which is causing some problems, of course, because you've got that kind of, uh, you, you got um, in the last episode where Peggy and um, Peggy and Susan were basically confessing, you know, they, like they were, ba they basically confirmed that they still had feelings. And uh, that Violet was right. Yeah, it it was a sticky situation, and that's what I just loved. Like uh, that little discussion, of course. Um, Peggy feeling in a bit of a rush, complicated. Nothing committed as of yet, but there's complications there, and I just loved that little bit of discussion there. Um, but yeah, that, it was really interesting seeing you know Masters as well being a bit more sin like he told Jack to you know brush up everything, like, try and get as much dirt on Peggy as you can, and the thing is, Jack is easy to manipulate, because he's basically cosy-cosy with him anyways, especially the fact that he brought him into the arena club, 
Uh, so he, he's more easier to manipulate, whereas, of course, Zeus has got that tie to Peggy, and he's, you know, he's team Peggy, whereas Jack is a bit more sceptical. Um, and, uh, you know, that's why he was a, he was treading on thin ice with Sousa when he had that conversation, and uh, when he wasn't, you know, when he wasn't coming out with, like, the 100% truth about um, the uranium rods and all that. Um, yeah, he sent thugs to his house and began slowly taking, uh, began taking over the LA branch of the SSR. I mean, he's, he's trying his best to get rid of the heroes, definitely. I mean, he, he told Jack about how, you know, the SSR are on their last legs and, you know, he needs to make a decision on what his, uh, he, he basically, I want you to have a better future. And now he is, you know, forcing Sousa out of this situation. He's, oh, he's another person you could, just with his smugness, he's another person you could put. I'm, I'm on a frenzy right now, especially with what happened to Anna. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Um, yeah, it was really, really great stuff to see, especially, you know, the Dotty situation with, um, like, when Dotty reunited as well. Like, the, Dotty was really, really brilliant in this episode, but it seems like she's a free-ranged criminal again, which is not great, but uh, something will happen. I don't know. All I know is that that officer should have listened, and he didn't, and sucks to be him, definitely. You were warned, but you didn't think it through. Um... What was, was I going to say? Oh, yeah, about, uh, you know, Dottie, you know, and Peggy having more of those moments with, uh, like, great rivalry, you know, being expelled a bit more. But not only that, the torture situation at the very beginning, you know, when, when Masters was interrogating her, trying to threaten her, and then she's, like, firing back. That was, that had me ready. That had me ready. I was like, oh, go on, go on, Dottie. You, you, you tell Masters to sit his ass down. But of course, um, he was, he was good cop to Whitney's bad cop when, you know, she gave her a little a little teaser of, you know, what she could be suffering if she did, did not cooperate. And, uh, yeah, that, that did shake up, um, Dottie, of course, quite a bit since she had to come out with the full confession and all that shit. Because, uh, I mean, it would, to be fair, like, all that kind of zero matter shit doesn't do good. But, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss. I mean, Ada has been shot by Whitney, who has captured Wilkes fascinated about the zero matter in him of course and that kind of retribution and wanting that the uranium uh, rods of course for like the two like the original ones you can't just make cook up new ones she wants the ones uh you know that peggy took i hate i hate her i definitely i think to be fair i hate her more than i did with dotty at this point i mean dotty was a really really enjoyable but since I, I'm not saying that Whitney isn't enjoyable, like I really enjoyed the story with her. Just uh, with with Dottie, you were just like, oh, I just want to love her, but I have to hate her as well. Whereas um, Whitney's in that position where um, she is meant to be hated, and and like you just like she's not that kind of sinister, manipulative um, kind of character who's like. Hmm, I'm I'm gonna be sneaking all like I like uh, she's she's not playing mind games. She's not being you know she she was with Dotty. She was up to no good and all that kind of stuff. And you just love her attitude towards committing these uh, stuff. Whereas Whitney is just like oh you, oh especially with the stuff she does. No, this is what I was talking about at the very beginning. At least Dotty had her limits. She didn't have friggin' Peggy impaled. Um, whereas yeah. We had that little fight. Don't care who, who say, it, it, you know, if Whitney wasn't being a complete bitch, then she, then she wouldn't have that wound in her. But here we are. Hate her. I hate her. But yes, that was Peggy Carter, uh, that was Agent Carter, episode number seven of season two. Oh, things are not looking good, but we'll, we'll iron them out shortly. Sure. But yes, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!